Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this class number 57, we are going to learn how to create a REST API in Next.js 14 and above by using MongoDB as a database. So in this video, we are going to learn creating a get routes in Next.js 14 and above and how to fetch data from MongoDB for get API. In next video, we will try to use this API to display information on Next.js web page also. So in this video, we have a concentration on creating a REST API, the get API and in next video we will see how to use this get api in next.js web page so let us start for that i have a mongodb that is running on my local system and here if i show you that i have a emp db database so i'm using this and i show you that collections here so i have a one collection employees so i try to see the data in this and you see this is the data that is available in this employees collection. So this collection we are going to fetch in our Next.js application for get API. Remember that this is the database MongoDB and I have already installed here Mongos also that I am going to use for connectivity. I have this route employees under the employees route I have this route dot js remember that in next.js we have to create route.js file i have explained in my previous videos also so you should be aware with that and i have already created this connection file for mongodb to save the time so this is we are importing this mongos with the help of mongos i am creating a schema that is eid e name and salary the same which i have shown you here same and uh, then I created this if it is already available so do not export it otherwise we have to create a new so one time it will create a new but other if it is available then it have the object here in employees that I am going to use to create a get API so now you see that connectivity is available by using mongos and now I just go to the route.js under the employees route.js and here I need to create the route for that I import here mongo connect file so I have to import employee from mongodb so this employee I am just creating here now I create a route so I say const get get should be capital then I need to create this arrow function under this arrow function I take request first this one we have a response also but I need request only now with the help of this cat I want to fetch all the data and I want to fetch the data on the basis of employee ID that I am going to do so first thing is to make a connection uh, so I import mongos also so I say import I say mongos like this and with the help of this I have to put async also here then I need connectivity so I say mongos await first of all await then mongos dot connect here I need to pass the URL so I say mongodb then 127.0.0.1 port number 27017 27017 and database is EMPDB remember that this is EMPDB that I have shown you earlier also so that I want to use now after connectivity connectivity is done I need to fetch the information so I take const I say EMP data like this and here I say await I say e employ this one dot find like this so all the records I am finding here remember that after that I say return and I take next response here next response dot json and here i pass this emp data and i pass status also i say status is 200 so that i want to pass remember that it's a simple one 
all the record I want to fetch. I am creating a REST API for that. And this is the request one I will use later on also. So we are finding all the data from MongoDB. And this data is coming here. And then I am displaying it to the REST API. So this get is the REST API. Then I export this also. So I say export here. I say get like this. So we are exporting this get also this one. So I think this get is ready. So try to fetch the information for that. I use postman. So I open this postman and you see that get is there already. We have a, uh, API employees. So I try to send this request and try to check. So could not send request on this. I try to check this the path of this. So we have API employees and route because my application is not running so far. So I need to run this application that is must npm run dev because we have to run this application only then we can fetch. You see now application is running. This is my application. Now I just open this also and try to fetch the information. If we get the information then that means it is working. You see information is coming. Remember that. So these are the records five records are available so this information is coming that means this api is working now we are fetching all the data from the mongodb now if i send a simple id and i want to fetch a single information then what we can do i am trying to do that also so suppose i say here const search params that we need to get from new url and i request I request.url from the request.url I get the search param first and from the search param I find out the EID remember so I say search param dot get and from that I need EID value so this is my you can say URL parameter the value from URL EID that I'm getting here now I find that if this EID is there then I need to fetch information on the basis of so I just copy this remember on the basis of ID I will fetch information here and I create this const EMP data above and I remove this from here I remove it from here remember if a request is there then find one and find one on the basis of EID remember that so if EID is there then we find this else we find the all information if we are not passing any id remember that so this we have done and this should be let because it is it would not be const if we want to change the information so let is there then we want to find one information then we want to find all information if information is there then we'll display this so that means on the basis of eid also we are getting information and on the basis of url without passing id we are getting information so again i go to this postman you see no id is there if i try to fetch then we will have all the information but if i want to find only id number five so i give here eid equal to five remember that and send this request and if it is okay you see you will have only single information of the employee Remember that it's a simple one. I'm just fetching a single one. I can fetch one also. You see this one is there. And if I pass the ID is not available seven. That means no ID is available. You see null we have. So we can check if null is there. No object is coming. That means no information is available. So on the basis of that we can take the decision in printing this data on web page. So this is working perfectly. No problem at all. You see everything is working perfectly so this get api is working we are fetching a data from the mongodb so in this video we try to uh, make a get rest api and in next video i will show you that how we can use this api in next js web page on client side how to display information in tabular format by using bootstrap also so that i am going to show you in next video so in this video we will learn how to create a get rest api using mongodb at backend in place of mongodb you may have any data 
base just you have to use connectivity with that with that database in my previous videos i have explained so many way to connect with the different different databases uh, like firebase also and like uh, your uh, mysql also like mongodb also so any database you can use as per your choice programming and coding is same for all just connection we have to establish so you see that we have done get api in this video in the next video we will try to display information using this get rest api so if you like this video if you learn something from this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video